Bonavidium de Bonavigesi. First Minister, Minister, ladies and gentlemen, I'm delighted to be able to join you today uh, through these electronic means to mark the opening of Usbati Kalon Azraig. That this uh, amazing undertaking should have, uh, should have been completed in such a short uh, time is rightly uh, a huge source of pride. And I simply want to add my voice to the tributes that have been paid to all those involved uh, from so many different walks of life uh, who have made this possible. The Welsh Government, the National uh, Health Service Trust, the planners, builders and technicians, uh, the armed forces, and of course, the medical staff and volunteers who will be taking forward this hospital's vital work. In a facility named uh, so evocatively and so appropriately, Kalon Adraig, what can I say except Dioch o Galon? And express the warmest possible thanks for what you have done and uh, all that you will do in this hospital and all those other field hospitals across Wales uh, where buildings have been transformed uh, as part of the immense effort to combat the dreadful threat uh, we face. It has now been weeks since our lives were changed in so many far-reaching ways by this pernicious virus. We've seen streets become empty and workplaces fall silent. But we have also seen individuals and communities meeting these strange new circumstances with the age-old values of generosity and, and courage that the people of Wales have always understood so well. We hope and trust uh, that the measures which have been taken and the hardship that so many are enduring will help hasten the day when the shadow of this disease will finally be, be lifted. Such commitment, of course, has come at a price. And as the days have gone by, uh, we have become ever more painfully aware of those in our national health and public services who have made the ultimate sacrifice in caring for others, giving their lives in the service of their fellow men and women without thought of reward and without regard for self. Words simply cannot express the gratitude and humility that such compassionate courage inspires in us all. And our hearts go out to all those who have lost their loved ones in such a terribly tragic way. Today we honour their memory and can resolve in words uh, long used to commemorate those who fell in other conflicts, a habarth need a haibio. Their sacrifice shall not be forgotten. We can honour them too by doing all we can to aid those who are on the front line of this struggle. Time and again in these last days and weeks, we have heard the most inspiring stories of people from every possible background and the most varied disciplines coming together and showing extraordinary team spirit uh, and cooperation as they help the most vulnerable in our society. New skills have been learnt, new relationships formed, uh, new respect and admiration has been earned. Ladies and gentlemen, today we mark one of the most remarkable transformations that have been achieved, namely turning Wales's national stadium, uh, one might almost say its national shrine, uh, into this giant temporary field hospital. This uh, and all the other field hospitals across Wales are an achievement of which we are all immensely proud. Through your extraordinary efforts, this stadium, so long a place of huivu, has now become a place of healing. 
Now, I'm rather too far away to do this personally, but I know that the time has now come for the unveiling of the plaque to declare Usbati Kalonda Adraig open.